Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Taxi Summit. We've got a fantastic day lined up for you, but firstly, I've got something to say. When grouped by occupation, taxi drivers and chauffeurs have the second highest COVID fatality rate in the UK. Despite that, you all went to work. Not only did you do this to provide for your families, you did it to keep the country moving. This industry, which is often forgotten about, is the backbone of transport. On behalf of everyone at Dotted, to all of you, I just want to say thank you. Between these sessions, you'll be able to enter the arena, visit and talk to exhibitors in their virtual booths and, and also in the networking area where you can sit down and have a chat. It's basically like how a normal event would be where you'd be able to walk around and visit all the stands. So I'd obviously encourage you to do that today. We've got people here from Belarus, Finland, Norway, Sweden, the US, France, Romania, India, Holland, Czech Republic, Pakistan, Singapore, Switzerland, Austria and Canada. Welcome all. Thank you so much um, for all your support and I want to say uh, a massive uh, well done to my team as well for, for obviously putting this together. Now it's time for our sponsors to tell you a little bit about themselves. Gavin Walsh of iCabby. Hello Bilgana. Edward, tell us uh, about the wonderful people at Kahu. John Graves at Northern Telecom. Got it. Mr. Axelson. Morning, Scotty. Well, that's why you're okay. Alan at Cab9. Alan Wright, LPHCA. Mike Wilkinson of ElectroClean. I'm James DeVille, I'm the sales manager from Curtis Gabriel. Uh, my name's Paul Gosney, uh, business development director of Carudo Delivery Limited. Anne Rich, CEO of Duco. Aaron here from UCAD. Mark Greenall from the Drivers Tap Tap. We're just about ready for the discussion focused on Uber's acquisition. We're all fully aware that this is a divisive topic. So whether you are for or against the deal, you must be respectful of the views of others. My guests for the discussion are Bob, co-founder of iCabby. My only issue is that I believe that uh, they've done a deal with the devil. And Tom, CEO of Cordic. Well, I'm very concerned as well, and um, I struggle to see um, the benefits. Do you believe the CMA will approve this deal? Can I get a yes or no answer from you, please? <laughs> I can't give you an yes, yes or no answer, Asma. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our next session, uh, which is going to be focusing on the future of taxi. Joining me today are Boris Wilczowski, co-CEO of Kahu, David Hunter, CEO of Take Me, and Andy Pennock, CEO, COO of Vizu. There was an impact uh, by the, you know, the pandemic, obviously everybody saw the you know, volume down 70-80%, depending on where they are. Very, very short term. We've all been in prison for a year. In the long term, yeah, it's probably going to be 18 months. Uh, before I agree with Boris, it's probably going to be 18 months before we do some type of, uh, of full recovery. The diesel cars will be the Nokia 310 um, of yesteryear. You know, I'd, I'd like to see more hydrogen cars as well. I'm going to say that it's been a, obviously a fantastic turnout. Thank you to everyone who's been involved today. I've got my um, I've got my Ponce Star Martini here uh, and I'm having, I'm having a drink and we're uh, ready to go uh, for the after party pandemic response and so I'm going to ask everyone to uh, say hello. So first of all, uh, Simon, can you introduce yourself and where are you from please? Hi everyone, uh, my name is Simon. I'm the founder of Curtis Gabriel, a full service social media and digital agency. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Lever. Uh, been involved with finance in the tax industry for over 20 years now. I'm currently a business development director at PMD Business Finance. Hey, I'm Steve Wright. I'm chairman of the Licensed Private Hire Car Association, which is a trade body that represents private hire and taxi operators that take private hire bookings. I'm Arnie Singh. Uh, my day job is that I run city taxis in Sheffield and South Yorkshire, and we've got an operation in Derby now. I also represent and one of the founders of a company called Caboodle. We've got constant meetings with government on the lack of money, the lack of funding, the lack of support. Social media consumption doubled. Everybody is on social media now a lot more than before and it's become the number one way to communicate your messages with your, your customer base. The, the new cash advance products 
is perfect for raising cash if you need it very quickly. <clears throat> Right, brilliant. I'd like to thank um, Steve, uh, Simon, Arnie and Chris uh, for joining me. But I'm also going to be closing up the show now, so I really want to thank everyone who, who was involved today. It, it's been overwhelming and I really, really appreciate uh, you, you, you being involved. But uh, again, the awards that we're putting on are going to be absolutely spectacular. Um, and uh, again, a really big surprise is coming to, and, and content coming for that as well. And anyone who's coming to the quiz later on tonight, I really looking, really looking forward to seeing you there. Again, thank you very much, guys. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you all in the flesh and having a drink with you. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.